What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some more WWE 2K24. So we as you see here, WWE.2K.com slash 2K24 slash features is where we're at. Do at man, like I said, I'm really excited about the showcase. It says 2K Showcase of the Immortals. WrestleMania, one of the biggest spectacles in sports entertainment takes on uh takes center stage in WWE 2K24 packed with the greatest matches from WrestleMania's illustrious 40 year history 2K showcase of the immortals allows you to recreate iconic moments and help some of WWE's legends claim their place in the record books as undisputed champions so we are going to be playing as the winners um this year unlike last year with John Cena that we had to pretty much beat him and the showcase was based on on John Cena. We're playing as his opponents this year. I think we're just going to cover, uh, like they're, they're saying here, and we were talking about, they're just going to cover the 40 years in different, you know, periods and phases. I don't think we're going to get, like, every single WrestleMania. I think we're like going to jump. 14, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're getting every single one. We're going to get a lot of modern stuff, as you mentioned. Um, but at the end of the day, I love the celebration, right? Mm -hmm. The game is coming out about a month uh, before WrestleMania. It's going to be in the thick of WrestleMania season. So the marketing for this is about to go bananas. Well, one thing I'm still like hoping for, right? You, like I, looking at all like the contracts and stuff, it makes sense why they can do like every single WrestleMania, even though I would have hoped for it. I'm still hoping we get like all of the arenas. Yes, right? I would love if not all of the arenas at least like what 90 percent or 85 percent like i'm just throwing an exact number yeah. out there because we should get most of the arenas hopefully I, I i think we should because especially because we're getting wrestling like or actually we'll get on to that in a bit uh, when we go over the dlc but yeah uh a lot of the modern arenas are just graphics right so yeah it's like you don't really need much work on them i, I hope they put some of that time and effort into recreating at least most of the WrestleMania arenas, right? That'll be like, cool. Yeah, or sense. or give us all the tools to actually have the legit, uh, you know, creation experience for us to be able to put it together, yep. uh, you know, as realistic as we possibly can without having to add too many things from uh, our own, you know, Google image search. Mm -hmm. Facts, facts. So it says all new match types. There's a few here that are listed on their site. It says from guest referee to casket, gauntlet, and ambulance matches, there are a bevy of new match types to experience in 2K24, including support for multiple superstars in backstage bra. How are we feeling about that, Duet? Because I know, like you said, you were a little skeptical with the casket match, but they, they doubled and tripled down on this. These are one of the most requested matches uh being finally added to this series well yeah is especially because you know like one of the um one of the biggest things for me was that usually there's always a conflict between like what the fans of the game want and what is actually presented on WWE tv right? yes like usually we won't get like when we got the inferno match and stuff like that for WWE 13 that was like relevant to like the historic Kane and Undertaker and all that yes. type of stuff, right? And because this is mostly marketing for the current product, they don't usually have stuff that isn't currently on TV. Like, there's no casket matches on TV, right? Exactly. So I, I, I really did have a lot of doubts that they would put in the game, but to my surprise, I actually got it. Like, and and I'm super impressed. I, I can't lie. Me too, man. I mean, if you guys saw my reaction, it was genuine. It was in real time. I had no idea that this was gonna ultimately be in there because it you know you never say never that's the model in wrestling and and you know we kind of set ourselves up for failure oftentimes with the the show on TV because we want them to go in a certain direction or even with the games we expect for them to kind of you know give us something that we've been really wanting and that's not necessarily the case. You know, we're not always getting what we expect and anticipate. And this time around, I feel like we're being rewarded heavily. I mean, ambulance match. I don't even remember the last time we saw one of those. 
I think I saw a gif. It was like Roman hopping out of an ambulance and spearing Braun Strowman. I don't know if that was actually yes. a match or just so like a segment. But. Several years ago, at the very least, it's not. It hasn't happened like within mm -hmm. the last year for them to yeah, add it to the game. Not recently at all, whatsoever. Yeah. Exactly. So that was that was dope to see listed. I wish they would have showed it in the trailer. I would have probably shouted even harder uh, because reading about it and seeing it in real time are two different beasts. But I'm excited about that. And then. They brought back My Rise. There's two My Rise uh, stories here. I'm sure one is for men, the other for women. Uh, the the one on top, as you see there, guys, it's listed as My Rise Unleashed. And the one on the bottom is My Rise Undisputed. And the listing says, embark on two action-packed career arcs as you ascend from a WWE recruit to a decorated WWE champion in my rise. Watch your WWE dreams unfold as you progress through original storylines and achieve WWE superstardom in the men's and women's division. How are we feeling about that little teaser, Duet? I mean, it's, it's pretty vague, right? Yeah. I think Undisputed, probably a reference to like winning the world titles, both world titles, something yeah. like beating Roman or something like that. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I mean, my rise has mostly had the same formula the, the past couple of years. I know 2K22 was kind of flat because they had to change all their plans yeah. or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep like this sort of same kind of, you know, go on your own adventure formula or if you yeah. have like a more cohesive thing this year. Yeah, a little more structure to it. Uh, I feel like 23 uh, got a little more organized. I think what really yep. set apart 22 was having to take out the Bray Wyatt stuff that kind of yep. ruined, you know, any kind of uh, awards the, and, and hype that we could have given them because it kind of made it like a mess. Exactly. Like he was the most like probably important wrestler in that whole thing right and so yeah that was the biggest arc of that yeah, exactly exactly it ruined him out exactly exactly so but, go ahead go ahead i'm sorry uh, yeah just uh i guess for i guess we'll 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 see what this year has i i don't know what they're going to do with the women but uh for the men uh if it's if i'm facing roman if i'm going up against the bloodline uh, that'll be cool I've that, wow that, yeah that'll be uh, really I cool what unlockables are going to be with that yep so they brought back my faction whoop de doo i know a lot of people are right now are probably yawning and rolling their eyes but i'm a fan of my faction as long as they're able to expand and give us features that you know are, are not only specific to that mode in terms of building a team and enjoying the the collecting elements but allowing us to play with those characters outside of it i doubt it i'm sure they're still going to be locked in i'm i'm forever uh uh holding them accountable but i want to see what this mode looks like with their imagination expanded honestly so let me read here and then i'll get your thoughts on the mode so it says build your faction collect and build your ideal WWE faction using su superstars and legends from every era 2k24 both single player and online multiplayer matches including the all new rank quick play compete against rival factions around the world and earn new rewards in the process as you establish yourself atop the seasonal leaderboard so they're bringing in leaderboards they're bringing in a rank system for online quick play i don't know if that really does it for me but although they're being vague it seems like we're gonna get a lot of the same here yeah no I, i'm gonna be honest i didn't really like i completed my faction in 2k22 yeah, uh, but I could barely get started on 23, especially with um, and I understand why they did it. But like with the with the sort of artificial restrictions between yeah. like the ladder wards, you can't really get any cool rewards for playing at the beginning. You sort of have to wait for them to roll it out. And yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah, because they want the mode to last all year round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see what they have in store for this year. But if it's like 23. I'm You're probably done. not going to do too much with it. To be. Of course. Like, you, one thing is, uh, I think the Cody Mattel thing, I think we actually get that as a part of the pre-order. Yes, so we do. Maybe. We do. So, like, I'm definitely going to be trying out that Cody card, but um, I don't know how often I'm going to be returning back to that mode. We'll just, we'll just I hear you. Game. I hear you. I'm on the same boat for sure. I agree. Then we got here uh, Universe. 
Not much listed here, but it says control the WWE universe. Universe mode gives you the power to develop feuds and create something never before seen in the WWE. The no holds barred sandbox is enhanced with more expanded rivalry actions, brand new cutscenes, and double title matches. Double title matches and new cutscenes. Let's go. So they got actions and cutscenes. Is that what it, what they're implying here, or? Cutscenes and and rivalry actions are all in the same. What do you think I that think, means? I think there's just gonna be. I think they're gonna have just like more cutscenes that play out when you're playing universe mode. Like you're not gonna be seeing a lot of the uh, same animations. But again, at the same time, I but feel that's like different from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop you. But the cutscenes mm -hmm. playing at random, like in 2K19 and some of the other ones, where you just got random cutscenes showing up that have nothing to do with rivalry actions. Or are they strictly going to be tied down to the rivalry action, like you know where it goes back and forth, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, Brock Lesnar uh, wins this one, so he's going to attack you at the end of the match. Do you think it's going to be in relation to the attacking at the end of the match, or we're going to get you know bonus cutscenes within that same space? Um, I, I, I just think we're getting like just like in more cutscenes in terms of like the amount of animations. I don't think there's going to be like a, a sort of difference between the two yeah i don't think there's going to be a sort of like new cohesiveness to like the storylines and stuff like that all right but who knows we'll, we'll have to see we'll see it. yeah because so, right now they're not listing a whole lot exactly and then uh last but not least we got my gm run the show in my gm one of my favorite modes if not my favorite mode Assume the role of general manager and draft an elite roster of WWE superstars so you can start producing larger than life shows in my GM mode. Make executive decisions by trading, you heard that right, by trading superstars, offering contracts, and doing whatever it takes to best more rival GMs and brands than ever before. Damn, that sounds good. I like the trading stuff. That's going to be interesting to see play out. They have uh, Mr. M. Gorgeous <laughs> here as uh, the cover for my GM. We got Asuka as the cover for Universe. The My Faction has a little graffiti. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. We're going to uh, transition into the extra features that were revealed on WWE.com. But, Duet, what do you have to say about my GM? I mean, I've been saying this for a while, and it's a rant for another day, but my GM has pretty much replaced Universe Mode for me. I just, I almost exclusively. Yeah, same, that. same. Last year, I probably didn't burn it out as much as I could have because I played it so much in 22, honestly, and 23 mm -hmm. was very, very similar, just with mm -hmm. a few added features. I'm really hoping that with 24, they, they really take it into that next level where it feels like a brand new experience evolved from what we've played not just the same thing with a couple tweaks you know what i mean mm -hmm. and well they're kind of in a weird spot because when they took out my gm mode it's because they didn't really have gms on tv yeah and of so course universe mode was like kind of supposed to be the replacement for that yeah and now with it coming back it's like it's kind of coming back when the mode that was supposed to replace it is kind of here true already, right true so. true 